So, you know, when I look at all these things, we have only one masquerade in Omok, which is called Okorosh. And it's related to the Imo people. So what am I not going to talk about? What about our names? Who came here for this uh, meeting? I think I would say it is a very big shame <laughs> on my culture not to recognize that there are Igbo people. It's a very big shame. Why? Because I, I believe that every cultural background has a history. And without history, you are nobody. When you don't know your roots, you don't know where you're going to. In Omog, there is nothing that is in Igbo land that we don't have in Omog. Right from the market days, we have four market days in Omog, a Keori Afanunko market. One of the biggest groups we have in Omog is the Omoada group. And in Omoada in Igbo land, without Omoada, I don't think there's anything. There's nothing like a family. You don't have a family. It's Omoada that are going to protect you. If there's anything is going wrong in the family, the Omoada will come out and speak on their behalf. There is nothing. I've looked at everything, but the festival, we have only one festival in Omoku, which is called Nchaka Festival. The festival is not like going, you know, when you are pleased the God of the land. And what do you use in pleasing the God of the land? You use yam and oil. So I please Yachi. So, you know, when I look at all these things, we have only one masquerade in Omoku, which is called Okoroshi. And it's related to the Imo people. So what am I not going to talk about? What about our names? The, we have almost the same culture with Uguta people. Our names is just like something that is just fragmented. Like when I hear people say Igbo, I feel very bad. I read find out from the University of Nigeria Suka, and there's nothing like Igbo. It's sick. It's not, it's not a language. It's Igbo. It's not Igbo. When you say Igbo, 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 what do you mean by Igbo? It's Igbo, I-G-B-O. Ibo. I'm an Ibo. Ibo what? Ibo. So, what I'm trying to say is this. We need to come together. We need to look back at our roots. You know, there's nothing as bad as when you see your brother, you look the other way around. I nearly fought with one Ikwere boy. Why? Because we are discussing. I told you I'm from Momoko and I know that beyond all reasonable doubt that I'm an Ibo man. The guy nearly fought me. Why? Because he's not aware of his roots. Because if you know your roots, you'll be proud of your roots. I'm a pure able man. I'll stand here. Even if he's going to take my life, I don't care. Because they will hardly believe what I'm saying, but I'm saying the truth. And the God knows that I'm saying the truth. The greatest market day we have in Omoko, the greatest day we have in Omoko that everything is kept secret is a K day. You don't go to farm on a K day. K day is like a sacred day. So why do we use a choose a K day? Why don't we use ordinary like Tuesday or Wednesday or Sunday? The other father Balan is my own personal friend. I called his son for six years. When, I, when he was to be coronated, what did they do? They didn't go and look for Kulano that has five heads. They looked for the one that has four heads. And they didn't use Kai Kai. They used palm wine to, li to libate. And in every of Omoko compound, we have what we call the Uruarose, where you go to please your God, the Son God. So what are we not saying? Why name what identity? I know this thing I'm saying, they're going to hurt me, they're going to try to attack me, but I don't give a damn. Yes, if I die at 56 years, I didn't die early. Some people die at one. But the only thing is this, say the truth and let the enemy be what? At shame. I love you, but with all my heart. Yes, I'm not there with him. He's paining me seriously when you see a reverse man talking rubbish. Yeah, I call it talking rubbish because you don't know who you are. You answer is, you're not Igbo. You answer Ada, you're not Igbo. You answer Mwigwe, you're not Igbo. You answer Mwigwe. I better leave that one first. I don't want to talk about it.
So what I'm trying to say is all these, in all these things, let us come together. If we come together, we are going to break so many yokes. I say yokes. Like I, I used to say before, I wanted this thing to come from the traditional rulers. What do I want them to do before? I want to, all of you bring your offer or your ikenga. Put it on the floor. Turn the four market days. Break the floor not, and say that you're not an Igbo. <laughs> and you see all of them will run because they know their roots. They know their roots. I have a book here. This book I showed to Chukwe Mekan when I had an interview with him. All the traditional rulers from 17th century to present, none of them bear any foreign name apart from Igbo name. Igwe, I will show you so you can look at you don't talk about something you don't have anything to to back it up. Okay. If you look at Omogu, they say we came from Akalaka. What is Akalaka? Destiny. Akalaka, is it not this? Yeah. Is it not destiny? Yeah. So, why are you saying you're not an evil? I went out there without that tell them, Unulezianya. Unulezianya means what? Look deep inside what you are saying. And ask yourself, Am I doing the right thing? Am I on the right track? God is here with us. So this thing is not just, I don't know. I don't know. There's a very big spirit behind this thing. If you really know, if you really understand it. Because for me to come out here and be voicing this thing out, and I know it's going to go to international television, I don't know. Any attack that's going to come, they will not wow. succeed. Wow. Nothing will happen. I don't give any, any attack. I know that definitely the king must call me today or tomorrow. He will call me. So he has my number, everything. But I know I'm standing on the truth. And the truth must what? Emerge. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. And God Thank bless. you.